This week on Gadget Inspectors, we're testing out Apple's latest hot gizmo, the new iPod Nano complete with video camera. Now this is what the whole world last week was excited about, Apple's latest development. Yep. And yet it looks like uh, just an ordinary old Nano. What's so special and new about this? Indeed, but hidden inside the case of this exactly the same size, exactly the same shape iPod Nano are three key new features. The first one is FM radio. Oh, I'm a fan of FM yep. radio. I thought Let you'd like that one, yeah. Harry. And what's the sound quality like? Really good, actually. The headphones have to be used basically as the air, which is the only downside. So if you hey, want to we've use got your Mika own... on here, and we have live pause. We are golden. We are golden. Oh God, it's great. It's great. I love it. Second feature is um, is voice memos. So basically, you could use it if you were in a meeting doing an interview. Yeah. If you've got your dictaphone or it broke down, you could use your your iPod Nano to record. And the reason that you've got that new voice recorder on there is because there is now a video camera built into the iPod Nano. So camera and microphone equals lots of YouTube moments, Harry. Right, I like a YouTube moment. So mm -hmm. now tell me, what quality uh, is this video camera, say compared to the Flip, which it's, is the most popular? It's exactly the same as the Flip. It's 640 by 480, 30 frames per second, high quality VGA, and really nice and easy to use. Now there are some features on this video camera which make it very different from a standard flip or ordinary camcorder. What are they, Claudie? Yeah, it's got basically 15 special effects on there. So if you're videoing your friends and you want to make a kind of short movie clip to, to upload to a website, then there's 15 special effects on there that add everything from black and white to sepia to my personal favourite, Cyborg, which basically makes it look like you're filming through the eyes of Arnold Schwarzenegger himself. Oh right, so uh, presumably it can transform a not yeah. wonky home video into something yeah. a bit more Yeah, into something a bit cooler. Right. So we, we're, we're on, are we? Yeah, we're, we're on, we're filming, oh. I'm gonna just cyborg you up, Harry. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> now I notice, uh, looking at this, that the video camera is in a very silly place, right there in the corner where I would normally be putting my thumb. Why have Apple gone and done that? Yeah, that is actually a bit of a problem I found using this over the last few days. I keep sweeping over it with my with my finger and right. really central position would have been a lot better, but then it's not really for people like you and me, Harry, it's for, no. it's for cool young people. So it is ultimately the best MP3 player on the market, is it? Does it now have everything to be the best? Well, this is the thing. Apple's basically made the ultimate converged device. You can do all your music, all your video, all your photos. It's kind of competing really against mobile phones. It's trying to say, hey, look what we can offer okay. you. And at £135 for the 8 gigabyte no, version? No, 16 gigabyte version. Right. Tons of storage. Okay, uh, is it good value? I think so, yeah, I think it's good value. So it, You'd never buy it just on the basis of the video camera alone, but what you're getting is extra bang for your buck, as they like to say okay, these so Marks out of ten. Seven out of ten. Well, I think it's a, you know it's a great MP3 player, but my objection is that they've gone to the effort to put a video on board. Mm. They should put a better video on board, and Cyborg and CPR effect isn't going to make up for the fact that it's just a little bit chonky with a camera in the wrong position. Apple, you could have done better. Five out of ten. Not what you think we are. We are golden.